Michael Moore, who used to be seen for what he is, a crazy left winger. So Michael Moore, you'll recall in 2004, there's a big controversy. If you remember this far back, I do, because I covered politics then. In 2004, there was a huge controversy at the Democratic National Convention because Michael Moore, who was a propagandist documentarian, was seated in a presidential box at the DNC with Jimmy Carter. And that was controversial because Michael Moore's a nutcase. Now Michael Moore has become one of the voices of the Democratic Party because that's how far left the Democratic Party has moved over time. Again, you want to know why people like Joe Rogan and Elon Musk are now talking about voting Republican? It's because the Democratic Party is now enthralled to people like Michael Moore. Michael Moore, again, here he was yesterday talking about Israel and Gaza and suggesting that Joe Biden has to abandon Israel in order to win over his left flank. Again, let's be real about this. The broad spectrum of Americans are much more supportive of Israel than they are of Hamas. But the Democratic Party is kind of split on the issue, which is wild since Hamas is a genocidal terror group that murders gay people, seeks to kill every Jew in sight, hates women and all the rest. Here is Michael Moore suggesting falsely that Joe Biden is enthralled to the authoritarian Bibi, which, again, that's hilarious because Bibi is an elected official in a coalition government with his political opposition who visited Washington, D.C., Benny Gantz did literally yesterday. But here's Michael Moore, Dolt. Do you think Donald Trump um, is the threat that he is? And Joe Biden is gambling uh, by aligning himself closely with Netanyahu at the risk of American democracy. Absolutely. And, and, And gambling by aligning himself with an authoritarian in Tel Aviv, somebody who is facing a number of felonious charges who was supposed to stay in trial this past fall. And that all got shoved aside uh, because now there's a war. And so we can't put our prime minister on trial. Joe Biden, and I'm just, I, I, I plead with him, do not put Trump back in the White House. You are, you are, uh, I am not going to be able to go on enough shows on TV between now and the election to convince literally millions of young people that you got to vote because Trump's a Trump's a bad guy. Michael Moore, by the way, is such an idiot that he literally says in the same interview that Israel should focus its ire not on radical Muslims who just murdered 1200 of its citizens. Instead, they should focus on the evils of Christians. That's how out of touch these morons are. According to my knowledge of history, um, uh, the enemies of Israel who have been persecuted, the Israelis, the, the, the Jewish people of this world have been persecuted for 5,000 years. But for the last 2,000 years, most of the persecution has come from white European-centric Christians. That's been your enemy. No Palestinian helped to build Auschwitz. No Palestinian stood on the docks of New York City when boatloads of Jewish refugee, refugees trying to escape the Holocaust came here to be protected by this country and were turned away at the docks in New York and sent back to Germany to die. No Palestinian did that. No Palestinian ran the Spanish Inquisition. Your enemy, your enemy is not the Palestinian people. It is white Christian European uh, uh, people who have been slaughtering Jews for the last 2,000 years. Okay, l- let me, um, okay, let me take that just one moment there. I have to recover. I'm going to say this um, in very considered fashion. That's the stupidest f-ing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That's legitimately the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes, it turns out there was a lot of Christian anti-Semitism over the course of the last couple thousand years. That does not forestall the fact that Palestinians crossed a border like a couple of months ago and murdered 1,200 Jews and still are holding 134 hostages, including six Americans. The Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip overwhelmingly support Hamas. That the greatest threat to Jews on planet Earth right now is Palestinians and their supporters. That is just a fact. There is no other. That's simply true. It doesn't mean that every single Palestinian is a terrorist. It doesn't mean that every single Palestinian wants to kill Jews. It does mean that a huge number of Palestinians do want to kill Jews and a huge number of Palestinians support terrorism. That does not mean that civilians should not be treated as civilians, but that happens to be a reality. Folks, I've been talking about that Helix Sleep mattress I've got at home for literally years. It's the gift that keeps on giving. My days are incredibly full. They're kind of stressful. I have many, many children and lots of other responsibilities, which means at the end of the day, I need to get on the mattress and go to sleep. 
which is why I like my Helix mattress. It was made just for me. If you haven't already checked out the Helix Elite Collection, you should. Helix harnesses years of mattress expertise to offer a truly elevated sleep experience. That Helix Elite Collection includes six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. And if you're nervous about buying a mattress online, well, you shouldn't be. Helix has a sleep quiz. It matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. Because why would you buy a mattress made for somebody else? I took that Helix quiz. I was matched with a firm but breathable mattress. I love it. My wife loves the mattress. We're big Helix fans at the Shapiro home. Plus, Helix has that 10-year warranty. You can try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll pick it up for you if you don't love it. But again, that's not going to happen. Helix's financing options and flexible payment plans make it so a great night's sleep is never far away. Right now, Helix is offering my listeners 20% off all mattress orders plus two free pillows. Go to helixsleep.com slash Ben. That's helixsleep.com slash Ben. It's their best offer yet. It's not going to last long. With Helix, better sleep starts right now. So in what had to be the most amusing piece of video of the year, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, went to see Dune 2 yesterday with her partner. And uh, she was then chased down the street by fellow left-wing radicals who demanded that she say the word genocide with regard to Israel's behavior in the Gaza Strip, which obviously is not a genocide. And she got very mad. She got very, very angry, did Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, because the revolution always eats its own. So shed a tear for the poor working-class revolutionary who is now being beheaded by her own movement. Here was Alexander Ocasio-Cortez being confronted by people making good trouble against Alexander Ocasio-Cortez. You refuse to call it a genocide. In front of oh, I, I, I need you to understand. It's not okay that there's a genocide happening. You're not actively against it. You're lying. I'm lying? You're not you went on TV and avoided talking about it. Well, what? You not for those who can't see, she's walking down the escalator and she's being followed by activists. She stops to confront the activists. You've been having interviews. It's insane. You haven't been calling it a genocide. Don't tell me I'm lying. Then just say it's a genocide. Just say it. Over 30,000 people are dead, AOC. You can't just say it for once. Just say the word. That's it. Just say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. She's starting to lose her temper. They're still following her down the street. And then her husband turns around and says, stop. Just cut it and you're going to cut this and you're going to clip this so that it's completely out of context. I already said that it was. And y'all are just going to pretend that it wasn't over and over again. It's f***ed up, man. And you're, you're not helping these people. TV. And you're not helping them. You refuse to. You're not helping them. You're not helping them. She's so mad. Oh, man. Maybe she'll break into a dance number now. Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, your genius leading light of the revolution inside Congress. By the way, we should recall that it was AOC who back in 2020 tweeted the following, quote, the whole point of protesting is to make people uncomfortable. Activists take that discomfort with the status quo and advocate for concrete policy changes. Popular support often starts small and grows. To folks who complain, protest demands, make others uncomfortable. That's the point. Ooh, ooh. She was such a spicy revolutionary until the point when she was confronted with her own revolutionary, useful idiot cadre. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 